So how's it going there Pokemon fans? My name is Ovi and today we're doing a Pokemon Theory. Yes, we're going to be talking about Dynamax, a new feature that is going to be introduced in Generation 8. And because we know so little about it, I think it's the best time for us to speculate on how this new feature is going to work, especially on how they're going to explain this phenomenon within the game lore. So let's see what is the best explanation we can come up with. It seems like for every new generation now there will be a new gimmick and while that might make some of you guys happy I know there are many of you upset because you wanted Game Freak to continue with the previous ones such as Mega Evolution and Z moves But what is done is done and all we can do is embrace Dynamax Pokemon and hope for the best Of course as a Pokemon theorist my biggest question is how do you explain this phenomenon in a way that lines up with everything that they've done in the past. If you follow the Pokemon lore you will know that Game Freak has pushed the notion that no Pokemon will ever reach their maximum potential without the help of a human partner. This is why a trained Pokemon will always be stronger than a wild one. And with the introduction of Mega Evolutions that connection between Pokemon and humans became stronger. There has been only one Pokemon that we know of that can achieve Mega Evolution without the help of humans, and that is Mewtwo. But if you love theories, you know very well that this weird occurrence outside of the norm might be because Mewtwo carries some human DNA within himself. And before I forget, yes, Rayquaza can Mega Evolve without a Mega Stone, but has only been seen done with the help of its trainers. Z moves, on the other hand, have been well documented that use the energy from Ultra Wormholes generated by the Ultra Beast known as Necrozma. And this small detail is the main basis for this theory. But first, we need to establish what we know about Dynamax Pokemon so far. So, here are the main key points that you need to know. Only trainers with the Dynamax Band can achieve this new gimmick. Dynamax can only be used once and it will last for three turns only. Dynamax Pokemon become giant, their stats will go up and all their moves are replaced with max moves. And the most important fact, it can only be used in very specific areas, such as gyms and special arenas. With the recent gameplay footage we can see where wild Dynamax Pokemon can be found and here's where it starts becoming very interesting. These places appear to be some sort of altars where massive amounts of energy are being shot up to the sky. When engaged, the player seems to be either teleported or engulfed in a field of, let's call it, Dynamax energy. So what is this energy? Obviously, the Dynamax band can collect it and when used on a Pokemon, it causes a dramatic change. And the information presented to us so far shows that research is still being done trying to understand how this happens. Of course, it seems like this aspect will play an important role in the story of the upcoming games. So my theory suggests that there are a couple of scenarios that could explain the Dynamax effect. Pokemon has briefly suggested that there is massive amounts of energy just flowing beneath the Pokemon world. One can be found in the Victini movie known as the Dragon Force, which is classified as a powerful and invisible energy that surges throughout the Pokemon world. If used correctly, it creates harmony, but use it wrong and it will threaten to destroy the world. Next, if you look at the history of Sutopolis, most people will simply know that it was formed from a meteor strike. But Xenia added some subtle but interesting facts about the town's lore. She stated, Quote, now our tale reaches the best part. Sutopolis was born from a great meteor strike. The great meteor was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it, and a great welling of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Grodon once again woke. End quote. Easily overlooked, but Senior suggests that if you crack the earth deep enough, you will find a source of natural energy. So, are these wealths of the Dragon Force or natural energy just pouring from beneath the Pokemon world? If that is the case, it could explain the Dynamax Pokemon. The last possibility I can come up with is that Dynamax is a result of an unknown Pokemon that we have yet to learn about. Remember that this is what they did with Z moves. With the release of Ultra Sun and Moon, it was confirmed that Z crystals came from Necrozma, and Necrozma's light that shined through Alola a long, long time ago is what surrounds the totem Pokemon. This will explain why Dynamax can only occur in certain locations where the energy left over from this mysterious powerful Pokemon can be found. Of course, that is just my theory so far, and a lot more will be explained once the games come out. I know it keeps sounding like a broken record, but I am excited to see what Pokemon is bringing to the table this time when it comes to the lore. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I want to say thank you again so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time with more Pokemon videos. Peace!